Hey guys, how you doing? Excuse my shower hair, it's still wet. Oh my god, hello, how are you? I hope you're doing really well. Welcome back to my channel. Back in business, January was a long year. We will be having discussions about January very later. Later, we're going on another solo travel. I've been to Oxford once and I think I did some content around it on Instagram. Um, a couple of years ago maybe and I love Oxford I've always wanted to go back and I was like hmm I feel like for my solo trips if it's not the really outrageous ones I go to Kent a lot and I was like oh I want to go back to um, Oxford just to see what that has and I looked and I saw that there is a converted prison hotel which will we which I will find out more information for us later but it used to be a prison it shut down in 1996 I think and then converted into a hotel in the early 2000s. I, we've got so much to catch up on, I can't wait. I'm so happy to be back. Like I said, January was a very, very long slog um, for, for literally everyone, I think. Um, but no, I'm so happy to be back. I'm excited to get some more routine back. This year, who knows? Who knows, who knows, who knows, who knows? Um, but yeah, we're gonna get the train. Oh my God, from mine to, well, not from my flat, but from London Paddington, I, it's ridiculous. It takes like 50 minutes to get to Oxford on a train, so I can't wait. We're gonna go, we're gonna have a like, I've got my audiobook sorted. Get yourself cozy, guys, because we're cozy on this channel. We are high energy, but we're, we're just chilled, okay? Have I shown you my new rug? Oh, yeah. No friend of mine is gonna be coming on this with red wine or any drink. Look how lovely it is, it's from Dunelm. There's a little cloak hanging up because my friend is throwing a traitor's party this weekend, which I'm super excited about. Um, if you do miss me, I love you so much, and if you do miss me, like I always say, um, I am always on TikTok. No, I am always on Instagram, always, to the point where I feel like I'm posting too much on Instagram. So if you ever need a little bit of a mark fix, that sounds like the biggest arrogant thing I've ever said. I'm always on Instagram and I've been uploading a lot more on TikTok because this year I want to be less about what I'm putting out. I want to not think about what I'm putting out. I'm just going to film it and put it out. And yeah, so let's go. Let's go to Oxford. I cannot wait to go back to beautiful Oxford and find some more adventures. Oh my God, the wind is so crazy out. The seagull is like, the seagull is flying backwards. I love you so much. And I obviously I speak to you guys so much on my other social channels, but I just, I feel like YouTube community, ah, I love you. Also a moment for the t-shirt from ASOS. It was 18 pounds, the best 18 pounds I've ever spent. This is my motto for this year. Slug and lettuce, oi oi. Whoa. Wow. Oh, and a prezzo, I love a prezzo. This is, um, wow. Malmaison. I visited Oxford before and I went to the castle. I had no idea you could literally stay in it. reception. My room is called Thomas Loughton. Loughton? Loughton? Wow. Look, Henry Coop Stace, they all have names. It wasn't under construction when I first came here, but this is so cool. Loughton. Oh my god, where's my key? I've just lost my key. <gasps> what do I do with my key? focus on this camera is terrible. Here it is. Oh. Oh. Wow. Oh my god. Wow. Holy. 
Gonna have a bath tonight. Oh, this is, oh my gosh. Oh, is this the bedroom? What on earth? There's no need for this, bloody hell. Oh my God, look at like the windows. All robes, I love a robe. Oh, coffee. Lovely. Where's the toilet? <laughs> There's the bath. Whoa. Oh, bathroom's down here. Coffee machine. Crisps, yes. Oh, here's the, whoa, this is huge, guys. Lovely little potty. I've never seen a clock in a bathroom. Wow. This is lovely. Woo! Oh my God, what the hell is this? Pillow spray. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, this is, wow, this is crazy. I love it though. I want to explore more, more of the hotel. This is just, whoa, wow. Right guys, so I feel like it's time to explore more, more of the uh, hotel slash castle. And then I need to go out and I need to get something to eat because your boy is starving, Marvin. I'm gonna research more of him later. That's real. This is heading down to the brasserie, brasserie restaurant. Oh wow. This is bougie. This is gorgeous. So down here is A wing rooms. A wing rooms. Wow. This is unreal. Never seen anything like it. This type of flooring has such a distinctive nostalgic smell. Does anyone know what I mean? <laughs> A unique place. Oh, it's raining. Oh man. Oh my god. Wow, Urban Outfitters. Oh my god. Oh look. I've been to an Urban Outfitters in so long, but look, oh my god, imagine these on my balcony. Oh no. I will be back tomorrow before I go back to London to buy the entire shop. Okay, so all the food is upstairs. This sounds nice. Oh my God, imagine this at summer. Like all the different restaurants are like above the city. Oh my god, I love it. Look at the little pods. So it's still in like the shopping centre. But, wow. I've been to the one in London of this. Incredible. I, actually, to be fair, I've only had like nibbles and cocktails. But it's, in, it's so nice. Faux Vietnamese food. I've never had this before. This looks amazing. Wow, this all looks incredible, guys. Wow, so that came really fast. That is the pork spring rolls and the steak and garlic pho. It's the chili sauce. Mm, pop. Oh, yes. Those pork spring rolls were 20 out of 10. So, so good. Didn't 
makeshift tripod, sorry. So this is the steak and garlic. Never eaten out of one of these before. Love a bean sprout. And I'm just getting, oh my God, the detox juice was banging. Um, gonna get a little mince here as well, so everything's digested. Um, oh my God, the food was so, so good. Now this is a mug I can get on board with. Look at the size of it, fresh mint inside. Oh my God, I love it. Got this piece of hair. I've just found out that there's a HMV seven minutes away, so I'm gonna go to HMV and have a look around. So cool. I feel like this was all under development the last time I came here. I can't remember. This, my friends, is my heaven, HMV. Come into a place called Black Sheep Coffee, which looks really great. Back home. Guys, oh my god, it's absolutely pressing down. Oh my god, guys, it is so wet and windy out there. One thing I will say about this hotel room, I don't know why, it doesn't really say. Um, there's no like open windows, so you can't open any of the windows. And for some people, they may find that a little claustrophobic, um, which I don't have, but I, I definitely need some like fresh air. But like, there's air con, there's everything. You need, and obviously this is the biggest room in the entire world. But it's just something to consider if you fancy staying here. It was so wet and windy out there. I'm gonna get my cozies on, set the um, set the mood lighting up, mood lighting, like set the cozy lights up, and then get into my jams. And then I'm gonna go through with what I bought <laughs> from Urban Outfitters and HMV because I know some of you are gonna be out very interested. Got new shoes the other day and I got blisters. Ooh. Let's cozy the place up. I love Oxford so much, everyone's so lovely. Definitely gonna have a bath either tonight or in the morning. So cozy. Don't know how to close these um, curtains. <laughs> oh. Don't know where those overhead lights, oh. Oh. <laughs> How cozy it is. Oh yeah, not me bringing my own bottle of water because I didn't think that this hotel would have any, but there is um, plenty. I'm just keeping up with my family group chat just to let them know that I'm safe and I'm staying in for the night. So this is for all you honeys who just love to um, see what people get in hauls. Now I got this salt, I got this self love. Um, I think it's like cards, um, it's not like a game, but you deserve, her you deserve healthy love from yourself too. I also got this as like a little vase. Um, I think this is a mug, but I'm gonna use this as a vase. I thought this was really cute. I actually got loads of space in my suitcase. So I got two of these candles. Um, this is just for life. You know I love disco. This reflecting off the sun into my flat brings me so much endorphins. Um, in dolphins? In dolphins. So yeah, I'm super excited to have one of these on the balcony and like plot these around the room, around my flat when um, the sun's out. It's just your average smell, nothing special. Nothing special. These are just, this is just me written all over it, come on. And then I got this little dish for my, <laughs> for my face So Look at him, it's a frog. So I got that because I need a place for my soap. My face soap, okay? And then, oh my God. Like I said that my friend's got um, a traitor's theme party coming up on Saturday. So I bought this and it's got like a, um, a little attachable wrist thing. It's a, uh, a disposable camera. I thought this would be really, really cute and you can reuse it. Um, just to take some like, memory, like physical memories. Toothbrush because I forgot mine. And it has some boobs on it and a little willy. And I also got a massive mug for my coffee. Um, I like this on my thumb. It's like a little daisy and it's clear off. It's a big fat mug. I really, 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 really shop in Urban Outfitters. The stuff in there is too expensive. But how cute would that be on my new side table? If you haven't seen my new side table, um, it's in my last vlog. But yeah, just like instead of a vase, like for my daffodils or my tulips, 
All, like, all the spring flowers coming in. Oh, come on, son. And my little soap dish. Mm. Oh, I need to wash that before I kiss that. Ugh. But let's not open one of these because I feel like I just need some uplifting. Um, January, guys, it was really good. It was amazing. But it was also filled with a lot of self-doubt, a lot of roller coasters, a lot of emotions. Um, I actually went away for a few days um, that I didn't vlog or post about. I'll share at one point. I feel like regardless of who you are and what you do, the new year can be very overwhelming and very, like, pressurised to... Uh, have everything sorted and I feel like, I don't know, I, I say to my friends all the time, like me and my friends have been having some really, really honest, open, amazing, deep chats um, recently, which is so nice because I say like, certain friends I don't see that much, but we talk every day, um, but I don't see them that much, like my big groups of friends. It may seem like I do, but during the week I'm pretty much on my own. Unless I've got like exciting things going on, of course. But day to day, I'm usually on my own. So when I do see my friends at the weekend and I've had a bit of a rough week or I'm going through stuff, I don't really want to, not burden them, I'm not going to use that word, but I don't want to like talk about it because I just want to soak up every chance I have with them and just like be like my buzzing self. But recently we've been having a lot of deep, honest, open chats about how we're all feeling and like the pressures of January and all sorts of stuff like this. And it's been really, really eye-opening and amazing. And I feel 100% better opening up to my nearest and dearest. I said to my friends, I was like, this, what I'm doing now is my dream. You know I never take it for granted, ever, ever, ever. And it's just every single January, I'm like, all right, like I've got uh, some things I want to do, but I never want to take this career, job, whatever you want to call it, for granted. I never want to get comfortable with it. I never want to get comfortable with the idea that I get to do this. So I think it's just another year. I'm like, if I can do this for one more year or another year, oh my God, hallelujah, amazing. But that also comes with a lot of anxiety just in case it's not. But I never want to feel comfortable and think, oh my God, I'm going to do this for the rest of my life because you just never know. Does that make sense? That's where I'm at right now. And obviously January was very long. And like I said, I went away to like, like oh, oh, like on my own for like five days to really like focus on what I wanted to push this year in terms of content in terms of like giving back to you guys because like I always say oh my god I would not be anywhere I wouldn't be anywhere without you um oh my god my dad is the cutest I don't know why I'm emotional what the hell my dad is just the cutest man in the entire world like I told him the name of the person that I'm staying in the room of and he's already googled it for me oh my god he's just so cute dad i love you thomas Loughton robbins 1837 to 1852 he was the governor of the prison during those dates related to lord nelson and who served with on who he served with on hms victory at the battle of trafalgar but, oh, i can't remember what i was saying yeah i take every month as it comes so grateful that i still get to do this share content share my life with you um, highs and lows and January was just a time of still stuck in a few unhealthy habits that I um, have dealt with in the past um, they've made them their way back to the forefront of things which I'm working on don't worry I'm absolutely fine it's just a reiteration that everyone regardless of who they are what they do, go through things. They, everyone has their struggles and their demons that they don't always talk about. January, I would have rated about seven out of 10. Even then is incredible. I think that's such a high number, it's above five. But yeah, like, I just like to keep you on the same page because um, you just never know what people are going through. And I think that's just a reiteration to always be kind to everyone, regardless if they are posting um, the most incredible day-to-day -day amazing content, especially people online. You just never know what people are going through. Um, and I don't need to explain any of this to you guys personally because you are amazing. But yeah, I just couldn't come back to YouTube after like the last vlog and just not update you on things that I've been feeling, focusing on. Um, I just wanna, uh, I just wanna focus this year on creating the best comfortable, cozy, chilled out, um, content for you like this is all for you obviously it's for me as well um but 
most of the content that I put out, I'm always thinking of you and what you would enjoy. Even though I did put out on Instagram the other week when I mentioned it in my vlog, what do you want to see less of on social media? And someone actually replied saying, solo travels. I want to see less solo travels. And I was like, I meant in general, not from me personally, but I'm going to take that as a mistake. I'm sure she didn't mean it. And if she did, this video is dedicated to you. <laughs> well, let's crack open a couple of cards. I love that I can just be as open as I can with you guys and... Oh no. <laughs> Look at the back card before I haven't even opened the box. Reminder, the best version of yourself wasn't the only one who deserved to be loved. Oh God. <sighs> Fucking ill. That almond croissant I had in that black sheep coffee was so good, by the way. And as always, if you're struggling, guys, and whatever you feel comfortable sharing within our little community in the comments, please do so and build each other up with whatever you're comfortable sharing. Um, I feel like I will never get over Vlogmas and how our community became so much closer. I can't wait for the next Vlogmas. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do next year. Oh, these are questions. Oh, it's about opening up. Oh, it's a question game. It is a game. I thought they were cards of like affirmations and refinement, uh, reminders. So we all know by now, I am a big fat geek, like a massive, massive geek. And I'm embracing it and I'm embracing it on my channel a lot more um, since <laughs> we went to all those movie locations and I was the happiest person I've ever been. So you know I love physical media, so I bought 4K Ultra HD, two for 30 pounds, which I think is so expensive, but these are like really special editions. Um, I've got the Goonies, because you know I love physical meads, and Evil Dead um, Rise, which is harrowing. This is such a messy, crazy movie. Um, but I love horror films. Do not watch Evil Dead Rise if you don't like horror films or if you don't like over-the-top gore. <sighs> Look. Zoe. Labyrinth shirt. I got this. I've got so many Beetlejuice t-shirts, but I was like, why not? Ghost with the most. Don't accept. No, what is it? Never accept a ride from strangers. Love it. Is this free? No, it's not free. I'll be leaving them. Forever Rocher! Oh, there is actually a mini fridge up there. Bloody hell. Oh, I might have a bath tonight, guys, you know? Biscuit. Right, what are we saying? Is there anything in here? Oh, it's, we really need a key. It's not opening. Oh. <laughs> oh, here we go. Sort of caramel milk chalk. Oh, it's cozy, guys. It's like raining. What's that? Oh, oh my God. Who would want to look at themselves in the bath? <laughs> Shower to cap, we've got Soaps, what's this? <gasps> oh my god, definitely having a bath tonight. A loofah? What the hell? Imagine that. For the fake tan, to get the, fake, the rest of your fake tan off. <gasps> I'm definitely taking this home. <laughs> Surely they're not, they're not for reusables. Nah. Surely you can take these home. <laughs> hell is a shoe mitten? Oh my god, what is a shoe mitten? Shoe... Mitten, excuse my dirty fake tan fingers. A shoe mitten? Are they like little socks? Just making myself an organic peppermint tea. <laughs> the reality of making YouTube things. Cheers to another year. Who knows what's gonna happen? I feel grateful, blessed, lucky. <sighs> to another year of me, myself, and I. Who knows? 
and to you guys. Well, the emotional music on in the background is very fitting and it is very Mark Ferris. Cheers at the bum, now I'm done. Also before a, um, a hotel, this used to be a, um, a movie set. So Porridge, Bad Girls, The Italian Job, Inspector Morse and The Bill all took part in filming in um, this hotel. Oh my God, do you remember when we went to um, Ghost Hunt in that, um, that prison years ago? Morgan, Alfie and Zoe and myself all went. Um, if you haven't seen that vlog, go over to Alfie's channel and watch that. There's so much history um, about this place. I would love to do more um, unique like staycase, homestays. So if you guys have got any recommendations of unique places that I can go visit. Before this was a hotel, I can't believe they used to film bad girls in here and the bill. I used to love the bill and I know my mum and my aunt used to love bad girls. I never really got into bad girls. Um, I watched the one where Ta Tanya Turner from Footballers Wives went in, but I, I never got into bad girls. Um, however, Footballers Wives on the other hand. So just some more information. The historical castle and prison in Oxford, hundreds of years old, are now a museum, which is next door. The second old building was not renovated, no money left as it cost too much to renovate and it wasn't main building. It was not in use because it was too small to be used as a prison nowadays, but the building is listed meaning that by law the original features can't be changed. So if you buy it, you can't change it. In the UK there are laws to preserve old buildings, the hotel might the hotel bought it and paid to renovate it, so the country still keeps historical buildings without demolishing them. People aren't allowed to demolish it and build a bigger building. They must use the original features as it is, protect, as it is a protected building. So the rooms were adapted to be used. Um, it is in the center of the city. But yeah, how fascinating. Possibly the most unique kit. We do not talk about the Clown Motel. Very different things, but we do not talk about the Clown Motel. Um, this is probably the most uniquest place I've ever stayed. So we've got Charity Shop Suon, which I'm just obsessed with. And we've got some olives, we've got a steak, a salad, some corn, um, fried corn. But guess what? Oh my god, these olives. I've got an exclusive for you. You know, second chance is part mm. of franchise, right? Yeah. Basically, all shops are going in for this comp. And if we win it, or their wow. babies on put their babies on something while they're having a drink. We'll make sure. Okay, guys, I'm going to get ready for a bath now. Hey guys! Oh my god, that bath! Oh my god, I feel like I could go straight to sleep. So I just thought whilst I'm here, I wanted to share some products that I am using that I don't think I've shared with you yet. You know I only talk about skincare if I really feel like it's worth it, because everyone's skin's different and everyone's skins react differently to each other's, but this, oh my god, I've noticed such a difference. This is the L'Oreal Paris Revitalift Clinical Pure 12% Vitamin C plus E and salis Salicylic Serum. Wow. This has just been amazing at like completely like toning, uh, not toning, sorry, evening and um, brightening my skin. Oh my God, I love it. I used to use the L'Oreal products a lot and then I don't know why I stopped. I think I just run out and never use them again. So this is the Revitalift Filler 1.5% Hyaluronic Acid Serum. Um, oh my God, I just, even if this did nothing to my skin, which I think it does, the smell just smells like just getting out of a really sunny day pool, like a pool on a really sunny day. I'm gonna take my face off um, and I think I will see you in the morning. I feel so relaxed. I've left these two um, curtains because there's no one up there, but um, just so natural light can come in in the morning. 
So you may have noticed that there haven't been any videos for me kind of in the last week apart from car boot haul videos. Uh, there's been a lot going on, there's been a lot going on, there are a lot of things happening and I lost my mojo a little bit. Every now and again I lose my mojo. It has to change, it has to change. So we went the other day, tell me also needs to put some stuff in. Good morning, friends. Oh, I slept so well. Oh my god, that was one of the comfiest beds um, ever. Um, oh my god, there's people walking past. That scared me. Um, oh my god, I slept so well. It was so cozy. And it was just such a nice little light that came in. Um, oh no, I'm crying. I'm gonna go to this place for brekkie or like a coffee called Arts, Arts, the Arts Cafe or something like that, which is just around the corner. Um, check out is at 11, it's 10 to 10. Um, I've obviously just been spending the morning having a couple of espressos and getting ready nice and casually and, oh, I've got goosebumps. Um, so yeah, let's go check out the Art Cafe. Here it is. I went for a long black and a skin glow juice, which is or or <laughs> orange, carrot, and apple. Guys, I almost forgot to get a magnet. Oh, which one am I gonna go for? I think I love this one. Oh, this one's really cute. I feel like this has a bit of everything. This is cool guys, look at the posters. Just double checking that I've got everything because <laughs> you know what I'm like. I would definitely recommend this hotel guys if you're interested in um, staying somewhere a little bit different, a little bit unique with a lot of history, a lot of backstory, lots of facts, amazing staff, amazing food, comfy beds. I just love Oxford so much. I really want like a proper um, like time here with my friends. I think it would be really cool. So I really hope you've enjoyed this vlog. If you did, uh, give it a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments where you think we should go next. Um, mainly like UK based, based, UK, Scotland, Ireland, Wales. I definitely want to do more Wales like camping and all crazy stuff like that. Um, I really want to go to more unique stays um, located closer this year more reachable um but yeah i really hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you very soon i love you so much uh remember how special you are remember how special you are to me and i will see you very soon goodbye